Hello, my name is Rudy, and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris 1.6.1 Adam's Utopia War. We are at war with the Hada Mediators, the Awakened Empire. They were once fallen, now they are awakened, they've been expanding, and they are a little upset with us. They've declared war on us, they want to stop the atrocities that we are committing. What do they want to do? They want to... Hmm, can I add more war goals here? I, I think I cannot add more war goals. They are a little upset. They want me and my vassals to stop our atrocities. They do not want us enslaving or purging, even though we're not purging. Not yet. And they want to take some of our planets. Now, we are probably not going to win this war. However, there is a right way to approach this situation, and that basically involves not letting our entire fleet get destroyed in a, sun in a senseless battle against a 600k enemy monster fleet enemy monster fleet incoming they have two titans 126 battleships battle cruisers and 235 escorts amazing you will not believe how big this fleet is well it's right there actually so they want to take over this planet the system here i think we should let them win we should let them take over this planet and you know what we're gonna put some very bad population units on this planet and in that way, we'll be able to pop bomb the the Hadam Mediators. Because, you know, we couldn't give them the system. But now we can just give them a system this way. But however, we, we do want to try and get the war score a bit into our favor. What we can do is we can launch a guerrilla campaign against the enemy. We can split our fleets up into many, many smaller fleets. Go after all of these outlying Hadam Mediator systems and invade them. We got one here, one there, one there. There's two systems there. There's also more Hadam Mediators there and there. Whew. So if we can take all of those systems and get some good war score, then maybe we can surrender to them with only having to give in to some of their demands. Like, I'll make one of my vassals give up slavery, and I'll, I'll give up that particular system we were talking about, because I don't really care for it anyway. And then we'll keep everything else and we'll still maintain slavery. And they, they want to destroy this frontier outpost so they can get access to the dragon's horde. See, that's why we need to colonize that planet. But we'll, we'll get to it. So that's, that's going to be the goal. So we, we need to split up our military fleet. I think we should take the first fleet and split it up into two... Or may, maybe even three or four fleets of around 20k each. Oh yeah. Yeah, in the previous episode I'd order them to jump. We... Because as soon as I enter one of their systems, the enemy is going to recall their fleet to go after me. So we want to strike as many systems as we can. Let, let Stay right in Wolgun. How do we split a fleet? I've never heard this. Oh, there we go. Split fleet. And it splits them roughly in half. Okay, that's pretty cool. Neat. That is very neat. We have a 30... Okay, so I think we, we got these three fleets. We're going to send... Let us send one to Fubadon. Let us send another six fleet to Ugron. And let's send this seventh fleet to that system right there. So we're going to try and take all those three systems. We'll probably only get two of them because the enemy's probably going to send their big fleet after us as soon as we begin this Operation, Operation Hot Zone Drop. This is the Hot Zone. And we'll need some military units, of course, to invade. It'd be, it's no good. We have a ton of military units, though. Where are they all at right now, anyway? Let us have them all meet up at some predetermined rally point. Right there should be good. And where is our... We have a general. We might need a general. If we're... If we... Like, if we end up encountering Fallen Empire ground units, we may need some powerful ground forces led by a competent general. Let's see, we don't, want to send, we don't want to send all of the ground forces in this region, or maybe we could. Maybe we can just focus on this region of their empire. But we need to send some other guys to the other side of our empire. Let's see. I think... Oh, and these groups of ground forces, let's send up here to this region of the Empire. 
they can rendezvous at Miram. And, oh, we should send in some fleets to take these two systems. So, yeah, yeah, there's no reason we can't do this all at once. It's going to be a lot of setup. So we can take the ninth fleet. Oh, so we have the fourth fleet at Gatria. Let's send them in. And let's send in the ninth fleet. Where is the ninth fleet going? Did I... Oh, that's where the ninth fleet is going. We don't want the ninth fleet to go there. We want the ninth fleet to go here. So some... I think the plan is ready to go. So... We have some unrest. That's no big deal. Because what we can do is I think we can nerve staple these units, these populations. Yeah. I think we can just nerve staple them and then they won't generate unrest anymore. So let's try that out. We're going to take... Oh, they're very strong. That's cool. Not waste... We don't... We get rid of wasteful. Get rid of agrarian and slow breeders. We're going to make them... We're going to staple their nerves. You know, nerve stapling doesn't really seem like... It seems like a surgical procedure, not a genetic engineering thing. We also want to make them conservationists because of what we discovered in a previous episode where they will consume less minerals. And what else? Oh, uh, industrious, right? Okay, that that's pretty the, the standard modification. And slow learners, it doesn't matter. slow Because slow learners only affects leaders in your empire. And let's modify them all. Situation so how long is that going to take? It's going to take five months. Okay. Blink of an eye. And we'll see what that does for our unrest numbers. Oh, I think I'm going to put the propus system into a sector. Because I'm just going to let a sector develop it. And you know, we have those slaves there. So much food. There's so much food on this stupid planet. But... Eh, I mean, eh, you know, you need food. You still need food at the end of the day. We're going to put it into the Naranka sector. Let's do that. Right now, there's a flurry of paperwork crisscrossing the Empire to get this done. Okay. Oh yeah, we got a lot of, a lot of stuff we can build, a lot of space stuff. And this is going to make us more efficient. So we're only at 9 out of 8 core systems, which is good. And what are the Naranka settings anyway? You know what? I was complaining earlier about how they... I'm going to take off the respect tile resource option because I've been complaining about how they've been building so many farms. And I guess they're doing that because, you know, they, they have food tiles and they're respecting tile resources. So they, they build farms on those tiles what the hell i can't find yeah like right here like all these tiles have base food i believe so of course they're going to build farms but if i take off respect tile resources then they should be free to build whatever it is they want to build and this is one less thing for me to think about okay and finally the last thing i was going to look at before i unpause the game or you know what i mean we have yeah, see, the thing is, you can't queue up genetic modification, so I need to wait for the Aruxians on Aruxa Prime to finish before I can start nerve stapling the other ones. We have unemployment. You are unemployed on Nagarma. We're going to build you... Well, once we upgrade the ship shelter to a colony complex here, we'll build you a uh, energy nexus, so you're fine. Inactive buildings. That's because we're still building population units. We've surveyed a system. Construction complete. We've discovered the hostile fleet. Okay, we're going to go to the Celestial Throne. I believe I've made these aliens battle thralls. Is that correct? Yeah, they're battle thralls. So what we should do is I have a ton of them on Oblion Secundus. Where is it? Here it is. So we should train a bunch of armies of that type. Of, I'm going to just call them Cravosians because that's what I, I want to keep on calling them. And since they're battle thralls, they'll have bonuses, and that'll, that'll be good. And we could train a lot of them because we do have a lot of them. Additionally, let's build a military academy here so we can train them that much more quickly. And they will also have... They will also have bonus damage. So we're going to wait for that military academy to be complete, and then we're going to start... 
training them in great quantities. We need to give these sectors some energy so they can operate all the mineral mining stations that they're going to make for us. Oh, we can also recruit some governors. We should get, yeah, we should get these two guys with the iron fist. That'll increase slave output. And also the gov governors will decrease uh, unrest. So we, get, we have our two new slave sectors. Let's put in those two governors. Good. So now if we look at a random planet in one of those sectors, we should see the governor benefits. Well, if we look at unrest here, we can see that the governor... The governor doesn't seem to be... Ha oh yeah, minus 10 on unrest right there, but I don't see that here in the breakdown. Oh yeah, it says it right there. Governor Yi Yi Hei. I guess it just wasn't refreshing for whatever reason. Let us get going with our motions. So we need to be very careful. We need to play cat and mouse with the enemy fleet. We're gonna... Station under attack. Oh, right. We need to... Okay, well, we don't need to transfer our population units over yet, but we can't forget to put in our, our Papa Bomb population units. We're gonna just keep an eye out on this military fleet liner here. For when our fleets arrive at their destinations, then we will start to pay attention to what's happening. And we're also building more ships, of course. Okay, we have a slave rally on... Okay, we should probably take care of this. This calls for action. Unrest, plus 20%. So let's go ahead and build some defensive armies. We don't want to lose any planets to a slave rebellion. Especially when we could stop it so easily. And then then when we nerve staple them, maybe we could tear down those armies. I'm pretty sure nerve stapling decreases unrest. The thing is, I've always had like... Def okay, we've had one, one fleet has arrived. Let's put you... You're already on the aggressive stance, so you should be going after those spaceports. Alright, that'll be easy. Wiped out. Okay, we just need to keep an eye out for the enemy fleet. Oh, this fleet too has arrived. You are on the aggressive stance now. It's a multi-pronged approach. You have also arrived. We'll put you on the aggressive stance. Okay, we need to get some ground forces in to Furbidon. Uh, military fleets, we're looking for armies, yes. So I think we could probably send in these two fleets. We might need both of them, I'm not sure. Let's group them up. Okay, species modified. We can do some more modification now. What does the surface of this world look like? Not bad. We might be able to take it. Yeah, let's just send them in. We'll need to keep an eye on that. Let's see. We have that happening now. Okay, there's the enemy fleet. We are currently engaging spaceports, so that's not to worry about. Then, of course, we have some actions we're doing up here. Okay, let's set this fleet to aggressive so they automatically engage and blockade. Oh, okay, so we got this spaceport down. Okay, we're engaging spaceports all across the space. Now, if you look at our military fleets, we can see which ones are bombing the enemy, which is helpful. So that, that's an indicator to us that we need to send in some ground forces. So here, we need to send in some ground forces. We got these transport fleets. How about we... Our general? What do we have in here? 13 clone armies, 11 assault armies, and 5 gene warrior armies. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Let's get them on that world. And we'll need to keep an eye on the... Okay. Oh, we have some enemy... Enemy transport ships. We should probably blow those up in space. 
And this, this fleet is bombing the enemy. Yeah, let's send in some ground forces there. So we got our ground forces there. Army, so what are we going to need? I think we can send in these. Let's send in these two ground forces. Hostile fleet present. Where are you? Where is this at? Okay, I'm not sure what the enemy fleet is doing here. It's like they're they're chasing. Oh man, that's pretty funny. They're chasing after my little my little ships that I'm building as they're traveling to rally points. Okay, how how is the ground battle going? Oh, here they come. Research complete. Excellent. Energy weapons damage plus 5%. Let us get this technology, which will increase our shield hull points by 5%. It's all these little 5% that's going to make our fleet our fleets so much more powerful. And hopefully allow us to win the day one day. Okay, we have an invasion happening. Hopefully this will go okay. Oh, nice. Look at all these ships that are arriving. You know what? We should uh, disable our current rally points because we want... We want our ships to rally, like, rally somewhere else and form a new fleet. Okay, we've secured the enemy. Enemy planet. Perfect. Now that that's that's the way it goes. Now let's, let's take this planet too. That's how you do it. So we got 5% war score. You know, we just need to do that a couple more times to get some war score. I mean, we could probably do this and win the entire war, but it would take a while, and it'd be pretty tedious. And it's kind of gamey. It's kind of an exploit, you know, when you think about it. Like, I, I think I'd rather... Oh, and we took another planet there, so we're at... Oh, we're at 10% war score. Nice. So we need to send in some ground forces here. Let's group up. Let's just group these up. Group these guys up to make it easy. Hostile fleet present. Oh man. You. Oh crap. <laughs> yeah, the enemy has decided they don't like what I'm up to here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to send those transport fleets to that system instead. And we're going to need to re retreat our fleet. Hopefully our fleet doesn't get destroyed. Hopefully we can retreat. It's going to take 25 days before emergency FTL is ready. Oh my god, the frame rates are so bad. Okay, let's take this transport fleet and tell you to land your armies. And this transport fleet as well. Land your armies, please. And let's destroy these mining stations, because I feel like the transport fleet sometimes get caught up fighting mining stations, which is ridiculous. Oh, research it. How lovely. Oh, bad. Yeah, they're not going to make it. Oh, six days? Five days? Maybe, maybe... Eh. Well, the entire fleet has been crippled. Okay, we're down to 7% war score now. Let's get these guys out of here. Let's, uh, before the enemy comes after me, too. I'm not sure where they're gonna go next. Admiral gains a trait. Okay, so we have unrest. Um, it looks like... Yeah, see, a Ruxo is no longer in my list of unrest because we genetically modified those aliens to be nerve-stabled. That planet, this planet apparently has unrest for some reason. Well, we should build them some defense armies. And the spaceport, how about? Where else are we seeing unrest? On this world as well. Now maybe here we can do some genetic modifications. Yeah, we're gonna take these butterflies and nerve stable them. So what do we got to do here? They don't need to be enduring. They're strong, rapid breeders, wasteful. Okay, we're going to 
Ooh, delicious. We can make them delicious for additional food output when we eat them. Okay, nerve stabled, of course. Let's make them very strong. We're going to make them conservationists. And what else do we usually give them? Oh yeah, industrious. That's all we need to give them. I feel like there's another thing we give. Well, eh, whatever. And that's going to take five months. Okay, great. So let's see what this enemy fleet's going to do now that they wiped out one of my fleets. Where are they going to go? Oh, they're, they're chasing after me. 700k, oh my god. Hopefully we can take this planet and get the hell out of here. Asteroid collision, plus three minerals to whatever that is. So we took that system. Oh yeah, we need to take Oblum. Right, we were going to do that, but then I got distracted. Also, um, I believe I said how I was going to train a bunch more ground forces. Oh yeah, Oblion Secundus should be done with their military academy now. So now we can train a ton of... Kravosian assault armies. And they will be battle thralls and also... Yeah, I was going to... Battle thralls and... Uh, whatchamacallits. Military academy trained. I would sh train Gene warrior assault armies, but... They take a long time to train, and we just need more armies right now. So let's get up a bunch more armies. Plenty of meat for the grinder. We have this assault... We have these armies here that we can use for our fiendish... Oh! The enemy has arrived. Our ground forces are engaged in battle, though. You need to flee. Hopefully... Hopefully my ground forces will win without orbital support. Come on, guys! You can do it! No retreat. You're on your own. Yes, we've got it. Whew, okay, that was a close one. Beautiful. Oh, and we got some leftover ground forces. You guys need to get out of here, too. Escape. Okay, so how, how, how did we do? We took those two planets. We took one up here. And, oh, we should be taking this one as well. We have gene warriors and everything. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, species modified. Okay, we're only su we're suffering unrest on only two planets now. Bondoga. So we can modify these guys too. Let's do it. Normal thing. Nerve stapled. Very strong. Industrious and conservationists. Situation updated. Yeah, man, we only got a few of those guys in our empire, so it's gonna be quick. One month. Species modified. Failed? What? How is that possible? Okay, well, I need to end things off here today. Thank you so much for watching. That thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time for more Stellaris, where we will continue our guerrilla war against the enemy. Have a great day.